The rush for last minute Christmas gifts became a dash for safety after gunfire rang out at Oak Brook Mall. Jewel Hillary is live at the scene with developments in the investigation. Jewel. Hi, good morning, you all. Despite the frightening circumstances inside of the mall last night, Oak Brook Center is expected to reopen at 10 o'clock this morning. Now, right now, police say that they do have one of the suspected shooters and a companion to that person in custody, but the second shooter remains at large this morning. This man with shoulder length locks wearing a blue down coat with a white symbol on the back of the coat is the second person police are looking for this morning. Oak Brook police Police Chief James Kruger says the violence started around 545 Thursday night inside of the Nordstrom Ring wing on the second floor of the mall. He says an Oak Brook officer heard the shots responding immediately. Throughout the course of the evening, more than 100 officers from surrounding agencies helped secure and lock down the mall. As the chaos unraveled, three women, all bystanders, were shot. One of the shooters was also hit four times. This is really something that we didn't expect, even though, you know, things have been happening all around town and we are concerned about all the crazy things that are happening around town. But uh, certainly this took us by surprise, but our police officers acted quickly and responsibly and they made whatever arrests that they could. And uh, I, my sympathy and my prayers go to those who were injured. The victims are taken to Good Samaritan Hospital in Downers Grove with non-life threatening injuries. Also, investigators tell us that they did recover one of the suspect's vehicles on the mall property last night, and that vehicle has been handed over to evidence technicians. Last but not least, if you plan to do some last minute shopping here today at Oak Brook Center, you can expect to see an increased police presence. For now, reporting live in Oak Brook, I'm Jewel Hillary, WGN News.